can reduce emissions. Effectively have a smaller engine to do the same work as a larger engine. Miser addresses energy efficiency. Good day, my name is Andre Reinicke. I'm the Managing Director at Tessera Holdings. We have developed a technology called Miser. It's a hydraulic hybrid transmission, effectively targeting the, targeting the automotive sector. We developed it because there's a huge challenge in the world at the moment regarding um, quality of living, the cost of fuel, um, and all the harmful gases, the greenhouse gases is floating around. And we know what's happening with the ozone layer and all those kind of things. Miser, being a hydraulic hybrid transmission, um, is a system that effectively targets engine optimization and it recovers lost kinetic energy. So when you're driving and you're stopping and starting and those kind of things, you're losing kinetic energy, any vehicle goes away. So we recover that and we store that in an accumulator. What you see here is a transfer case and a pump. So this is the first part of the Miser installation that we do. Uh, this gets connected into the transfer case um, and connected to the, uh, to the pump. We have the accumulator, which you see is quite a big one for a truck, a nice size truck. Um, once it's filled up and it's, and it's powered up, if we want to call it that, the system will decide and drive it back through the pump um, and all the way back through the prop shaft to the rear wheels to drive the vehicle forward again. Here we're looking at the physical installation. Above me you can see the gearbox underneath the truck. This is where the miser pump gets fitted. The miser pump is then connected backwards to the accumulator or the energy storage device. And from here we'll either drive storage back to the wheels to propel the vehicle or we'll save energy back into the energy storage system. The control system is by far the most important bit of this whole installation. Having 13 modes of operation it will decide uh, how, which combination of the engine or the hydraulic power it will be using at the end of the day. There are three pretty important modes. The first one being uh, the regenerative braking. Um, and that typically when you drive any kind of vehicle and you're braking and stopping and starting and accelerating and decelerating, you're losing kinetic energy. And that's energy that can be used again. So what regenerative braking does, it actually captures that energy and stores it in the accumulator for use later on in the vehicle. Secondly, um, if we think of engine optimization uh, and you want to get the vehicle to run at the best fuel consumption or as we call it, brake specific fuel consumption line, we have two modes that operate for that. The first one is called torque summing. The second one is called um, speed summing. And effectively what these two modes do is they make sure that the system, the engine is optimized and the whole system as such so that we can run as close as possible to that uh, fuel consumption line and thereby save as much fuel as possible. If you look at the global definition and everything that happened in Paris and across the world at the moment in terms of saving the planet, we would fall within energy efficiency. And energy efficiency is pretty important because if we can use the energy we're using, be that a vehicle or anything else out there, better, then we can save on all the fossil fuels, which are becoming a challenge in any case, um, etc. that we're burning to drive vehicles forward, etc. So energy efficiency is where we play. One of the things that go hand in hand with saving fuels is CO2 or carbon oxide reduction. Um, it's basically a parallel line. So if we can save a large amount of fuel, we can reduce the emissions by a huge percentage. So we most definitely do that and that is our way of contributing to a better quality of life for everybody in the world. We implemented MISER in a proof of concept uh, by building it into a vehicle in South Africa. We were able to test all 13 modes over a period of nine months. Uh, it was satisfactory to the point that everything worked the way we expected it to work, so the engineers were able to sign off on it and we were able to continue with it. We have patented the idea as well, so we're actually ready to go commercial, but before we can do that, we need to complete our pilot projects, which we are doing at the moment with a large transport company and a vehicle, that, a vehicle company that has a lot of stop and start like compacting and refuge removal, etc. That should be done in this year, so we, in theory, we can actually go commercial in this year, but we might just delay the next year just to not rush into it. There are many people that will benefit um, from MISER. First of all, every single vehicle owner who has a MISER installed um, will save fuel because we are hydraulic, we're scalable from small to large, so in theory we can install it in, in any size vehicle. But just in terms of, of, of life, um, all of us, 
every single one of us, because by reducing emissions and saving money, we are making sure that we um, add to the value of improving the quality of life for every person on Earth. We, we have a very good team working on this idea. At the moment, uh, we're still a small team uh, in-house, um, a couple of business people, a couple of um, um, engineers, but in terms of the work that we're doing, we have business people, engineers, mechanics, very specialist uh, skills. Some of those that we outsource to people and companies in South Africa and across the world, just to keep our costs down at the moment, basically. But uh, yeah, there's quite a big team um, in, in, in working on this, made up of ourselves and the company where we're doing the pilot. If we look at Miser um, and specifically the hydraulic transmission, uh, the exciting thing about this is that we positively affect everybody's life. Um, we're saving fuel, we're reducing harmful gases or emissions from cars, we're reducing the cost of ownership um, of a vehicle because of the, the engine uh, service cycles, etc. Um, so that's pretty exciting for us to be part of that process in, in everybody's life. So our mission statement in terms of this whole project and our company is that we want to be the best of breed supplier of uh, energy saving and engine optimization systems for the vehicle owner out there.